Welcome to Marvelicious Toys. We bring you news and reviews of Marvel toys, statues, and more. Because not all Marvel collections can be bagged and boarded. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. From a company we thought was dead, wow, Play Imaginative is shipped a fifth Iron Man figure and put the Civil War Mark 45 armor up for pre-order. Wow. I went ahead and ordered that, and my Igor arrived this week. Ooh. This is a hefty toy. It is, according to the box, 75% die cast, wow. and it is a good eight inches tall or so, much taller than the other Play Imaginatives around it. It looks like his arms were made with, like, leftover stuff from a parking garage, though, with the stripes. <laughs> he's His whole arm is no parking zone. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it looks like he's a junker. <laughs> it, it's the Sanford and Sun armor. <laughs> now, my history with this character was I was excited for him when I thought this was going to be the closest we got to seeing a Hulkbuster type of armor in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Little did I know that Avengers 2 was coming and an actual Hulkbuster happened. He lights up, Justin. <sighs> Only if you don't pull his torso in half. Well, this one is totally different than the others. You've got the light switch on the back. You don't even have to pull him open to light him up. But you do have to pop the head off, which was a little tricky the first time I did it. And there's this little skull cap. You got to get your fingernail under and pry up to turn on the lights on the eyes. He's got a nice light in him. Yeah, he lights up really pretty. Now, to keep the cost down on this compared to the other Play Imaginatives, he doesn't come with all the accessories. He stands really well on his own, so you don't get the base. You don't get all the swap-out damaged armors and all that. You just get a really pretty decently articulated figure with four additional hands. But for articulation, his head moves pretty well, given that he's, again, back to the turtle thing. <laughs> His spine armor actually bends out, so you can, like, extend the little metallic flaps along the spine. Oh, cool. That's really creepy and weird. You can get a good range of motion on his arms, even with the shoulder armor there. And the little, I don't know what you'd call them, but the gray platforms under his fist extend, so you can have those, like, lifter, forklift arm things going. Hmm. He has a lot of mobility. They did a really nice job with the paint job. He's kind of got this brown wash on him that looks a little rusty or a little bit, you know, battle hardened. Well, he's been lifting dumpsters and <laughs> shipping containers. But with the ball jointed hips, the knees, there's not a whole lot of motion in the knees because he's supposed to be leaning forward. So you can't move the knees forward much, but they do bend back and you've got the ankle articulation, including like the three layers of armor that move around the ankle as it goes. Oh, does he have that midfoot articulation as well? Yes, he does. Nice. Now, the only things that light up are the RT reactor in the chest and the eyes. He does come with alternate hands, but there do not appear to be light pipes down to the arc reactors there. And one of the pairs of hands has fully articulated fingers. So it's like we're dealing with a little hot toy here. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that since uh, an Iron Man release. Yeah. Well, and at this size, you're getting close to a hot toys. I mean, if this thing is almost eight inches, nine inches tall, you're most of the way to a 12 inch hot toys. Yeah, exactly. Only it's Igor armor, so it's <laughs> you know, considerably smaller. But yeah, I was really happy with this one. After the past couple play imaginatives where I was like, well, you know, the armor was really hard to take on and off that Mark 42. That battle damaged armor was a fingernail killer. Yeah. Getting this one, this was my make or break on if I order any more play imaginatives. Because I liked the other ones, but I was I was just not sure. But this one, this one's just a fun die cast toy. It is very fun. Let me ask you this. Something that doesn't come across in pictures is, you know, when we were reviewing the Play Imaginative or the Super Alloy side by side with the figure arts, we, we all conceded that the figure arts actually seemed to be shinier, even though they were more plastic than metal. Does this one still kind of have that matte finish feel to it? Or is it more shiny than the, say, the Iron Patriot? This one is super shiny, and they did this really neat thing where it is got wear spots. So maybe the shine just stands out more, but, like, if this existed in life, like, where he would wear, like, on the edges, you know, any place that's sculpted on the edges, it's got metal showing through, and it really makes the other part look shiny. 
And it's really neat. Like his back where it doesn't have any wear spots is super shiny. Yeah, it's a very high gloss die cast metal. Nice. And yeah. they did a nice thing where they made the wear spots different than the regular silver that's on him. Like it's actually like it feels and looks like like it's been scuffed. Like a raw metal rather yeah. than a silver paint. Nice. Exactly. It's really great detail. That is pretty cool. Now, did the, the, the pre-production photos showed that it came with the bonus screwdriver and like a, a cleaning cloth. Did you get those? I did not. All the others came with a screwdriver and a cleaning cloth. I think by putting the little switch on the outside prevented the need of having any kind of screwdriver. I see that on Amazon. I see that it looks like it came with a shining cloth. I didn't get one, but all the others came with one. And God knows I'm drowning in microfibers. <laughs> So, you're all in on the Super Alloy? The only thing I'm all in on is Hot Toys. I refuse to say I'm all in on anything else. I'll say I've pre-ordered the next one. So you're saying if, if they keep doing maybe one or two a year, maybe you're all in, but if they decide to drop five to ten a year, then it's decision time? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Isn't that a good way to go? Yeah, that's fair enough. That's the way I would approach it. You know, if they if they decided, hey, here's half of the house party protocol at once, then, yeah, you'd have to kind of really rethink the strategy on that. Well, that's what they sort of teased when they first were coming out. Remember all four hammer drones and mm -hmm. all of that. But these are now being handled by Bluefin Distribution, which is one of the companies we're going to see in just a couple weeks at Toy Fair. That time of year again. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Marvelicious Toys with more collecting news and reviews at MarveliciousToys.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, make mine Marvelicious.